Hey everyone, welcome back to Damn Tasty Vegan. It's your friend Maria Rose, and today I have a mouth-watering, amazing tempeh recipe for you. We're making the Nashville Hot Sandwich. It's normally made with chicken, but today we are making it with the amazing food tempeh. This sandwich blew my mind and is a great way to show how delicious tempeh can be when you cook it right. <laughs> so tempeh is a food from Indonesia and they call it the poor man's meat because it's super cheap and readily available. It's made from fermenting soybeans. It's a great food to eat if you want to eat like less processed, like plant-based meat. Tempeh is really high in protein and fiber and a bunch of minerals and calcium. And I will link studies below to show you that there's no reason to be afraid of soy. And it's actually been shown to help prevent certain diseases. So today's video is sponsored by Farm Foods. They create their own tempeh from their community that lives in Tennessee. They started as like a hippie commune back in the 70s. And then they adopted a plant-based diet because they believe in sustainability and they wanted to live as lightly upon the earth as possible. And so then they started developing like different products, one of which is tempeh. They have a few different flavors of tempeh. They have an original. And then and they have this hippie Nashville hot tempeh, which has already been seasoned with like smoked paprika, paprika, cayenne. So it's got this nice heat smoky flavor to it. I'll put a link below on where you can buy some of this tempeh. It definitely adds to this recipe since it's already pre-seasoned. If you're not able to use a pre-seasoned tempeh like this, then I highly suggest that you simmer it in some vegetable broth for at least 30 minutes. That'll help like mellow out the flavor of the tempeh and make it less bitter. Then let it kind of cool for a little bit and then we're ready to get started battering it. So first we're gonna make our vegan buttermilk and we're gonna do that by getting some unsweetened and plain soy milk. This is the best milk to use for buttermilk because it curdles really well and it's got a nice fat content to make it nice and thick and creamy. Then we're going to add about a tablespoon of lemon juice to that, stir it up and give it like a minute to thicken and curdle slightly. After we make our buttermilk we're going to add a little bit of hot sauce to this and a little bit of salt and pepper. I just use Frank's red hot sauce. Put about one to two tablespoons in there, stir it up. Then we're going to cut up our tempeh into the size that you'd like it to be for the sandwich and we're going to immerse it in that buttermilk. Now you can let this marinate for four hours. If you don't have time, then just let it marinate for about 15 minutes or so. When our tempeh is marinating in that buttermilk, we are gonna make our flour. So just get about a cup of all-purpose flour, then we're gonna add some seasonings to that. And in that, I just added some garlic powder, onion powder, Old Bay seasoning, a little bit of salt, and some paprika. And I'll link the recipe below with all of the measurements for this recipe. So just stir that up nice and well to get all of the seasonings mixed together. Then we're gonna double dredge the tempeh. So take the tempeh out of the buttermilk marinade and kind of just like let the excess drip off a little bit. Add it to your flour mixture, and I like to kind of cover it a bit and then pack it down with my hand so it really sticks to the tempeh. Make sure you get that flour on all of the surface of the tempeh. And then we're gonna add it back to the buttermilk mixture, make sure it's fully immersed. Take it out, again, let the excess kind of drip off, and then add it back into the flour breading. Then just set it off on the side on like a baking sheet or a plate. Now it's time to deep fry the breaded tempeh. Fill up a cast iron pan or whatever pan you have with some high heat resistant oil. I use avocado oil and you want to put it on like medium heat and let it heat up for at least like five to 10 minutes until it comes up to a nice frying temperature. I didn't have a kitchen thermometer on me so I would just like cut off pieces of the tempeh of some extra tempeh and throw it in there and see if it, you know, fried. And I would wait to put it in until it was started to fry. Then add your tempeh into the pan and let it cook for about, it took me about 10 minutes at this temperature for it to completely cook through. The great part about tempeh is it's not raw, dead meat, so you don't have to worry about getting E. coli and getting the internal temperature up to a certain degree. So I just fried it until it was nice and golden brown. It took about 10 minutes, I set the timer. Next, you wanna take it out and put it on a baking sheet that has a little grate over it so that the oil can drip down. You don't want to set it onto like a plate because then it's gonna sit in its oil and become soggy. Now it's time to make up the sauce that's really gonna take this heat and flavor to the next level. So in a small bowl, we're gonna add all of our spices. So we wanna add brown sugar, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of salt. Again, I'll link the recipe below with the measurements. And then you just want to ladle out one or two, three ladlefuls of that oil that we fried the tempeh in. Put it into the bowl with all of the spices and it's gonna kind of like bubble up a bit and caramelize the brown sugar and just make this amazing delicious sauce. So stir it up really well. And then if you have one of those kitchen brushes that you can brush you know, marinades on with, use that. But I don't have one of those, so I just used a spoon. And you want to drizzle 
drizzle that sauce all over the fried tempeh. Flip it onto the other side and get the other side as well. Now the Nashville hot sandwich is typically topped with some mayonnaise, but we're gonna use vegan mayonnaise here and some dill pickles. So put on as much of that as you would like. I have some whole wheat buns. You can also use like a biscuit if you wanna make a biscuit. Whatever you wanna eat your sandwich with, grab that. So this sandwich just goes to show that you can veganize any recipe. If Nashville hot sandwiches were like your go-to and your favorite thing ever, there's no need to give that up as a vegan. You can still be kind to animals and eat delicious foods that you used to love. Now, if you wanna avoid deep frying it, you could try baking it. I haven't tried this yet, but if you do try it out, then let me know. Try to bake it at a high heat for maybe 20 minutes or until it crisps up, and let me know how that turns out if you wanna avoid the, the deep frying. All right, so let's try out this sandwich. I uh, got a little excited and got a little bit on my <laughs> mouth, didn't realize it. <laughs> All right, so I, I am like, my mouth is like watering. It smells so good in here. So let's eat it. It's beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I've never had a Nashville hot sandwich, obviously, because it's usually chicken. And so I'm really excited. And we finally get to try it. And it's like this mix of spicy and a little bit of sweet and then a little bit of tangy with the pickles and then like the vegan buttermilk. Oh, it's so good. Definitely, definitely check this out. Mmm. Wow. So definitely try out this recipe. So if you wanna order some of this pre-seasoned delicious tempeh from Farm Foods, then I will put a link in the description box below. So thank you so much again to Hippie Farm Foods for sponsoring this video. I'm always a fan of vegan businesses and businesses that really like to focus on sustainability and being kind to animals. That's always a plus in my book. So definitely try this recipe out and let me know what you think. Thank you all for hanging out with me. I will see you in the next video.